Canizero got a little jammed up. There, but Ryan Ambler, number four. He's a left-handed attackman. And there's a goal. I believe it's Canizaro. No, beg your pardon, Marcus Holman going to the ground, and he'll get the first of the season for Ohio. Individual effort there from Marcus Holman off the well, quick restart. Goal. You can see the inside roll. Marcus and that's just Holman. a will, just willed himself to the goal. Not a lot to shoot at, but wins his matchup. And this is where Marcus Holman, he doesn't do a lot of dodge. He doesn't have to for this team. But when, when he does it, he, he's maybe that uh, one extra piece that Ohio needed in the back half of the season last year. Holman will step into a right-handed shot and he gets it past Drew Adams and Marcus Holman with his second goal of the game. And this is what you want to see out of Marcus Holman. His last shot, he goes overhand high to high. Drew Adams is such a smart goalie. You see the same release point this time. He goes low and away. So Marcus Holman, such a good shooter. This is what makes him deadly. Same release point, different location. Was all over that. Canizaro, he'll race all the way back out on top. Hands it to Schreiber. Cross the field feed to Holman and beats Drew Adams and then jumps into the arms of Ambler. Great transition offense. Another great play from Tom Schreiber feeding it off here to Marcus Holman, who has his third of the game. And Marcus Holman. Upstairs, back downstairs on this shot. Far post, unbelievable finish. Bernhardt, Schreiber, Holman, bang! One, two, three, and Holman buries it into the back of the net for already his fourth goal of the first half, putting the machine back up. By three, they now lead by a score of nine to six. How about this release from Marcus Holman? Hits his stick, and it is out on cage to the top shelf. So good is Marcus Holman. Forward, and now Fister will hit Schreiber. Cross the field to Holman. Buries another one for his fifth of the first half. That looked almost identical, identical to the one earlier with Schreiber coming out of the box, hitting Holman, who scores. And what I was going to say is on the original save, Burnlor puts that out. They've got a fast break opportunity. But what I love about this is Holman floats up to that right wing. The second he sees Schreiber coming down the alley, he floats. Second half with possession here, face-offs. In the first half of play, New York had the advantage 12 to 9 as Marcus Holman buries his sixth of the game. <laughs> that was a new angle. Normally you see Holman on the wing, but this one from out on top of the point. I'm laughing because it's once again Schreiber to Holman. Fourth time this game. And, and you said the location is different, but the combination's the same. You got to get out. You got to find Holman. You got to be all over his hands. Point is he looks off Holman. You see him look him off. Do you see that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Holman for his seventh again from Schreiber after the pass was deflected by Zenker and Marcus Holman's seventh of the game. Schreiber on man up is when he, when he decides that he, he's reading the situation, he's reading the defense, he realizes he has Marcus Holman inside. He holds the ball for an extra second. He gives the look off. You saw he hit him early in that possession, and then he finds him here at the end. And watch what, Holman, or watch what Schreiber does. Looks off. Freezes the defense, moves the defense away. Good ride. And guess who's wide open in front? Marcus Holman, one-on-one -on -one with Adam, scores! His eighth of the game. What a day. And you know what's interesting, and I don't know that we'll have an opportunity to see it, but you know who was very instrumental in that ride? Marcus Holman, you talked about him early in the game. He was checking guys coming out of the substitution box. He was part of that. And then he ends up kind of leaking back after they get the turnover and scores. We still have 25 minutes of game left. Look at the patience here. When the second Holman catches this, he checks. He sees how open. He's almost jogging in. He knows he's going to score. Everybody knew he's going to score. And for my money, it was their most complete game of the regular season last year. Holman sheds free of the defender and bounces one in for his ninth goal. 
And this will take us to a timeout as Ohio now has an 18 to seven lead and Marcus Holman has got half of them. And if you watch Marcus Holman in that offensive set, he only had the ball for that last three seconds, but he worked around the entire field. He starts off, looks like they were gonna run a two-man game with Schreiber, he slips. He ends up running all the way around, continuing to work without the ball. He catches it, he gets topside, automatic. And a check right there as it was taken away from Walters. Jackson Place made the uh, play. Now coming back the other way, it's Patrick Harbison. Hands it off to Holman, and he buries his 10th of the game. Wow. There has been little hesitation for Marcus Holman today as he now has his 10th of the afternoon. Double digits. And we've seen that release. He beat Adams with it earlier in the game, and now he beats Carcaterra with the same release, the same shot. Man, he is feeling it. Beat this badly. Number 11. But I think on the machine side, wow. it, everybody knows how good they are. Uh, and expects them to be right at the top of the league again. So they're 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 not surprising. What we're seeing out of the Lizards is surprising. And Marcus Holt with 11 goals. I'm not really surprised by that, to be honest. I'm surprised that the Lizards haven't done anything differently to try. And he is obviously just dialed in right now. Standing ovation in the stands for Marcus Oholman just announced as that 11th goal. Even his teammates were dropped their sticks and were applauding down there. <laughs> as they should be.